So yesterday I went and got a bunch of wood scraps from a local cabinet shop. Have here a little bit of maple, I believe. And I've altered my process a little. It's a trial and error type deal. But I've come up with something that gives me good results. First thing you gotta do is you gotta lay out a couple lines of coke and do a couple rails right off the rip. <laughs> uh, but I'm taking raw baking soda and rubbing it directly in the wood. Just gently. It helps me get make sure that I have a good even electrolyte layer there. When it comes time to burn. And some's gonna collect it if there's some deeper grain. This is pretty smooth. I'm not having that problem so bad. I don't know how it would work with the pine. So now we've got our juice in a bottle now. And we're just gonna spray it. And then I folded up some aluminum foil into little pieces like angle iron. And this has an amazing effect. Alright. Oh, can you hold that? What we're going to do here is is I'm going to steer this with my spray bottle. It needs some help. And what I'm doing is, is I'm keeping the stuff that's already been burnt from getting overburnt by saturating it. And at the same time, I'm providing fresh electrolyte and just chasing it down the line. I really want to try to get the rest of that done. So you what I'm going to do... Be recording. No. Oh. What I'm going to do is try to fill in the rest of that. I like the diagonal. I got skirt. There you go. I'm let that ride. I probably should have let it ride earlier. Yeah. You were in the perfectly good design. Alright. I'll get some pictures here in a second, guys. <laughs> 